so small compared to you. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Got the aspects. I was like, what? What are we doing today? We are doing car another card chat. But it's couples Q and A edition. Two. So a little okay. bit ago, I asked you guys on Instagram like to ask us couples questions because we we're gonna do a um, Q and A on stories. Uh -huh. But you guys sent in really good, questions. interesting questions that we realized would take a lot longer than stories. So, and I yeah. hate when people post like so many, so many stories, stories like that you 20, just like, you know, 20 of them and then you're just like, I'm done. Like, yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so we are just like, let's just make it a, a YouTube, video. YouTube video. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay. So the first question is how did we meet? At work. Um, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, so we in California. worked at Chick-fil-A in yeah. California. Mm -hmm. And um, I had been working there for quite a while. Yeah. And. I just started there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. She just, I don't know what it was. Like, she just caught my eye in, like, the moment. I think it was because a lot of people, when I first started, no one wanted to come to the back to bring trays. So she was like the first person. Um, well, okay, it's because he he's a very intimidating looking person. If really. you don't know him and you like see him for the first time, everybody in the front, cause he worked in the back of the house so in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. And everybody in the front was like scared to like approach him because he was like intimidating and that doesn't really phase me. I don't really get <laughs> intimidated by people unless, like, I don't know when I would be intimidated. But I was just like, whatever, he's just a guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why everybody's so intimidated. She just came back with, like, a huge smile. Yeah, so because, you know, you have to be positive at work, whatever. But, yeah. <laughs> Man, then, like, we were both on our break, and I was just talking to her for, like, a good minute. Yeah. And, and then... And then everything happened. Happened, yeah. <laughs> Practically, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question is what was our first impression of each other? Did we kind of talk about that already? I mean, you kind of did, not really. Yeah, I did. You did it. Mine. Well, I heard of him before he even started working. And... You did? I don't know how. I don't know who told me. But it was because... Um, we were freaking out because you were the only person in the kitchen oh, yeah. that didn't speak that Spanish. Didn't speak Spanish because everyone, like, they were all, everyone that worked in the kitchen was basically family, and mm -hmm. like they were all related to each other, and they all spoke Spanish, and he was like the first yeah, one that one, had yeah. been hired that wasn't related to anyone back there and like didn't speak Spanish. Yeah. And so it was like this like crazy thing and we're like, oh my gosh, like, and everybody was like freaking out. And uh, I forget, one of my friends asked me, he was like, oh, is he cute? Oh yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he's cute. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. You said it was hot. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No? Yes, yes no, you did. They, they showed me. They showed me. Hot, cute, whatever, same thing. <laughs> But yeah. But yeah, so I I'm guess I guess that was my first impression. Yeah. I was like, Oh he's cute. He doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh mine was probably probably the same. Like I saw her and she just like for some weird reason not weird, but like she just brought like I guess you could say light. Like just seeing her and like her smile was just like it was just different from like anything or everyone that I've ever met. So mm. <laughs> that's why this happened. <laughs> Practically. Okay. Next question: How long have we been together? So two years in and July. Two years in July. Two married. years of marriage in July. In July, but it's it would be three years in February. No. Yes. No. February twenty first. That no, would be that's three not years. three years. Yes, it would. No, because we met in February, because that's when it, yeah, but got we started hired. dating. But we started dating in February twenty first. Yes, I know, but I'm saying 
is that we only knew each other for what five months before we got married february yeah. march april may june, june july. july yeah five months so it's only two years yeah but what i'm saying is that this, in the next following year it's gonna be three years that we've oh, known each other we're talking about this year oh well <laughs> We've only known each other, each other for, for two, two years, years and, and in July. In July, married for two years. There yeah. we go, that makes sense. That's crazy. Yeah, but it feels like it's been forever. Yeah, we we're. I was saying because like, oh, we've... Because we know everything about each other and we spend yeah. like all of our time together. Yeah. Like, we feel like we have known each other since, you know, the womb. Or <laughs> yeah. Which, no, not the boom. Just, like, in high school or You know what I mean? Like, school. your childhood friend in yeah. diapers. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, and it was, it, I think it's also, like, I think what helped us a lot was, like, our honeymoon stage. I don't think we ever had one. Yeah. People were like, oh, just wait till the honeymoon stage, honeymoon stage is over. Stage. And we were just like, what? Like, we're we never like, had one. I think it's just because we spent so much time with each other. Like, it was after when we started dating. It was literally every day. Like, almost every day that we hanged out. Yeah, the the first time that we went, like, a day without seeing each other was after we got married. And he went to... Um, oh, Whitewater. Whitewater for, for a, a junior week. high camp. For a whole week. Yeah. That was like, and that was the first time that we had not, <laughs> not seen or been seen, with each other. Like or that. able to text or call each other because, yeah, because the reception had no, had no service. service. So it was so literally that. a week without yeah. each other. That was... I would say that was probably hard because it was just like it was weird i feel like it was hard for me because because you didn't really have any distractions yeah and or, like yeah but we got through it yeah yeah that's right we, it was great it was yeah you it had was a fun experience yeah. it was great i got to bond with his family more mm -hmm. so it was fun okay sure. next question is well, okay the next two questions kind of go hand in hand yeah, um, so it's what do we argue about the most and how do we handle arguments? <laughs> we don't okay. So this is weird. Okay, when I think of argue, argument, it's like you're just like going Well, it's like, like hard on each other. Like serious bickering, bickering like yeah. screaming, like having to Yelling, take a break yeah. from each other, mm -hmm. like and I feel like we don't do that. We do little bickerings. Yeah, little like disagreements. When, when I drive, spats, she oh bickers so much about how oh I drive. Oh my gosh, when he drives. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We should do that. Once we get a good camera and it's not oh as shaky. Oh my gosh, we should like film. Film her. <laughs> no, you. No, the, We should have two cameras. One facing that way and one facing I'm us. I'm a good driver. But when no, she's he is a good not, driver. It's just that sometimes. Sometimes. It gets aggressive. <laughs> all the time <laughs> but yeah but we don't really it's more of like little bickering and like yeah. little stuff like that yeah so i mean and then how we handled it we just like it's not like a i mean it's the fact is that it's not a big argument i mean don't get me wrong we have had like arguments yeah, about like serious things and stuff like that and i feel like one rule that we have that we we never made it like a said rule but we do, it's just like we can't leave each other or the room until the problem, the problem is, solved. is solved. And I think that's helped a lot because if you kind of just put like a pause on an argument or something and go about your day and then come back to it, I it's mean, still sometimes, gonna be there. sometimes like that might be necessary, but for us, like I would not be able to go about my day if we were in an argument mm -hmm. or a disagreement like that serious. Yeah. So it's like just listening to the other person mm -hmm. and like really like understanding what they have to say. Mm -hmm. Like something that we practice with each other is like, like let's say he's upset about something and he explains it to me. I explain what I just heard back to him so that I know, so that I understand 100% what he's saying. Yeah. And then if I, you know, said something like wrong or whatever, then he can correct me and then we can uh -huh. really be on the same page. And just like understanding that we're a team and yeah, what is that thing where it's like, we're, like we're not against each other. We're a yeah, team we're a against, team. The, problem. against the problem. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's how we like handle arguments yeah yeah okay um next is 
Advice on marriage. Ad advice on marriage. Um. I think advice on marriage is like, for sure, communication, trust, love, and like, you yeah. know, honesty and things like that. But I Before think. Before you even like think of marriage or even like. Yeah. Move towards that step. step. Yeah. Is it's like you ha you have to be equally yoked yeah. with one another. Because if you are with someone and like your morals don't align, mm -hmm. or you're just gonna have it's, like your goals in life, your goals don't in life align. don't align, and like your beliefs don't fall in line. Right, is like you're just gonna have constant friction. Yes, and like with that constant friction is just gonna lead to like divorce or you know cheating or you know things like that like getting something from someone else because your husband or wife can't um give you that or something like seeking you know validation seeking validation from, or something else right when you should have everything, everything. you need in like your partner mm -hmm. you know and like if you like are in a disagreement or not a disagreement like if you don't what's the word if you're not lined up mm. equally yoked yeah if you're not equally yoked on literally like almost like everything basically practically then well, it was just like in a belief form is like equally yoked in like god right belief in christ like that's like, like your center has to surround it by god right and it was like what like um chris brown says is that his marriage is centered to God. His family is centered to God. His house is centered to God. His money is surrounded is centered to God. It's like that's how like it should be. Chris Brown is our uh, pastor, pastor from, from, from not sorry the not not the singer Chris Brown <laughs> Chris Brown from um, California. Yeah. But I think like that's the best advice that like I think that, that we, we can could give, give you. you. Yeah. I then the rest is just like. I guess up to you. And well, and then in marriage, like let's say you are equally yoked. Mm -hmm. I think the number one thing is just literally communicate about everything. Mm -hmm. Like talk about your days. Like mm -hmm. go on dates. Spend time with each mm -hmm. other. Like once you're married, like it's still important to because I think people. Date. Yeah, I think people take. Sorry. No, it's okay. I think people take marriage as a chore, but it's not a chore. Right. It's like it's a choice. Mm -hmm. you know so it's like you know spend like don't don't feel bad to go on a date with your wife you know it's you like should. It's, you, like, should you should you should want to spend you know? time with that person you know yeah. but yeah that's i think yeah that's basically yeah good advice i guess i i hope so <laughs> I, hope so. I hope so let us know in the comments <laughs> okay next question is do we want kids Yes. Of course we want kids. Of course. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's not like to be like, if you don't want kids, like, you know. Yeah, don't like, don't have kids. Everyone yeah. has their preference. preference like, if you don't or, want kids, you know, that's totally cool. Other stuff you know, we and just, everything. We are definitely like. Wanting kids. Yeah, and we have that on yeah. our hearts. So like, not more than four. <laughs> but, a, but whatever God blesses with, I'm okay with it. Yeah. You know, but I do just want one girl. If we could just get pop I out one girl, <laughs> if you just pop out one girl, I'll be satisfied. Oh, thanks. Let me just pop one out real quick. <laughs> um, next question yeah. is: Do we want to travel? Yeah. Do we want to travel? Yes. And, where and where do we want to travel? travel? Um, I would like to travel to Greece and um, France. Yeah, we want to go to Santorini. Santorini, and, and then, then France, and then yeah, London. Paris. I would love to go back to London. I went there, um... 2016? No, I think it was 2018. 2018. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you week. graduated, right? School ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to go back to London. Um, and I think Rome would be really cool. Yeah. I would like to also go to, um, Bora Bora, where you're out on, like, a, like, in a village, like a villa. But it's like on the water. Oh, like a secluded little like cabana, kind of like a cabana on, the on the water. water. Oh, that'd that's be so cool. cool. Yeah, that would yeah. be really cool. But yes, we want to travel. We have a lot of places that we want to travel. Constantly to. dream of traveling to. Um, hopefully one day. Hopefully, you know. It's gonna happen. Yeah, Just manifest it, baby. <laughs> Next is how has being in Oklahoma affected our marriage? 
These are good questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, I think that it has really helped our marriage in the fact of being really less anxious, less, less anxious, stressed, less stress, more um, relaxing, calm. Yeah. Because I feel like in, I, in California, I feel like we had to go, 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 go. Right. And that's the pace of life there, honestly. Yeah. And because the pace of life is so like slower here. It's like it's it was weird to get used to right for sure because we were always so go 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 and i think but that's like, who we are as people too yeah. growing up in california because like we always feel like we have to be doing something and mm -hmm. like you know moving on to the next thing and like yeah. we were just i'm glad that we took like march, march to just to like just break and chill and do chill nothing and not even work home like, environment because it really it honestly helped us communicate more, I think. Yeah, because I feel like also, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a communication well, is better than what it was in California. I think also our communication is better because we are able to understand ourselves more. Mm -hmm. Because, like, we're both very, like, slow processors in the sense of, like, we need time to understand our own emotions and what we're feeling mm -hmm. and having this like slow pace of life it gives us more time more to time. like reflect and like understand ourselves better and you know because if if someone asks you like oh what's wrong and you like have to have you know like mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. like you know but it's like okay what's going on like talk to me about your feelings like and like we have been able to like communicate better in the sense of like understanding our emotions and understanding each other's emotions mm -hmm. and like um am i explaining that right it was really really well said okay but yeah it's it's, it's like really helped our marriage yeah helped our communication yeah um helped our stress levels um yeah Next question. <laughs> what is our favorite thing about each other? Probably one of the few is like, there's never a, I guess you could say dull moment or like a boring, a, moment? boring moment with her. It's like, it's always exciting. It's always like fun. That's one of the um, favorite things. <laughs> um for me i have a few in my pocket um <laughs> first one <laughs> um first one is like you're a really good listener and that was a big thing that i like had in mind before i you know found my spouse i was like i know i want a man who really listens to me and like here's what I have to say you know because there are people who just like listen and mm -hmm. they're not really listening yeah um an active listener is what it's there called. you go yeah but yeah you're a great active listener I think also for me I think it was also listening to because like when we had like the conversation in Disney it was just like I can tell that she was into like listening like it wasn't like a like it was like you know tell me more like i want more like, like feed actually me more. like invested invested interested. in stuff like that yeah. so that was also amazing and then also how understanding she is in situations mm. um you're very like honestly he's the selfless person most selfless <laughs> person that i know like he literally puts everyone before himself like not just me like his own family like my family like it's crazy and like in our conversations it's like that's honestly like probably the most thing most that i appreciate about you is that like you're so selfless because like you know being selfish is such an easy thing to do mm -hmm. and being selfless is so much harder for sure 
And like, that's what God calls us to do is to be selfless. That's literally what I was reading this morning to be selfless and to put others before yourself. And that's exactly what he does. Next question is what are our love languages? So I didn't know this <laughs> until I got married. What be, but be what? <laughs> See, never a dull moment. <laughs> um, you, the way you receive love and give love are two different. Oh, two different. It's two different. Yeah, like, we well, discussed this actually one morning. I was like, I asked her. I was like, babe, what's your what's your love languages? And she yeah. told me, and I was like, huh. And then she explained like, oh, but there's two different types, right? And stuff. So that was weird. Well, yeah. Cool to understand. Because the way I receive love, give love, and receive love are different. Okay, so the way that I like to receive love is through. Do you know? Receiving mm -hmm. is um, quality time mm -hmm. and um, acts of service. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah. So, like, spending time with him and, like, and then acts of service. Like, so if he does, does the laundry, the bed, does, do the laundry, the vacuum the floor, picks up groceries, do the dishes, pick like up that. groceries, pick up Starbies, <laughs> all this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here's our physical touch and mm -hmm. words of affirmation. Yeah, words yeah. of affirmation. So yeah. the way that he receives love is like, it doesn't even have to be like sexual. It's just, no, it's like, just like, 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 um, cuddles or, or like hand holding or, or like, um, why did I say huggies? <laughs> the hugs. diapers? Um, no. <laughs> hugs, hugs and, and like, like, yeah, just like. Yeah, simple stuff like that, just to know that, like, hey, I'm here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, like, words of Just affirmation, like, like, encouragement, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, the way that you give it. Do you know? I think it's um, um, gifts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gifts and... Service? Yeah, acts of service. Yeah. Because he's very like doing like doing things, <laughs> yeah, like, cleaning. I can't really be, yeah. I'm not a really stout person. Yeah, I can't be in one one spot for too long. Literally, it's just for me. Uh, probably physical touch and, and quality time. And, yeah, I think. Yeah, I just like spending time with people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's well. Yeah, I also like quality time. Yeah. Because I feel like... They probably, like, rank the, yeah. next to acts of service. Acts of service, yeah. Yeah. And last two questions are, who's in charge of the money, and are we saving up for anything right now? So, I feel like... If we... It's always been, like, like a yeah, team, team effort. effort. Uh, like, for us. For us, yeah. Being in charge of the money, because... I think we've tried doing it by like whatever i feel like if i were to like try and like take over in a sense i i feel like i would always have to like communicate with him not in like a oh i have to communicate with him but it's just like i want him to be in the loop the loop of mm -hmm. like where our money's going like with the bills or like if i'm buying something or yeah. like da -da -da, just because i like sharing those things and with you, it's like the same way. Like yeah. if you were to take over the bills or whatever, mm -hmm. like it would just be like, oh look, we paid for this today. Da 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 da. da. Yeah. You know, and like. I think yeah, I think it's just a team effort in general. There's not one person. Yeah. In like our relationship and we, that just like does it. Yeah, and once the bills are paid for, we split the money, where she gets her half and I get my half. So, like, she could do whatever she wants with her money. She could save it. She could spend it. She could get whatever she wants. And that's, it. that's the same thing that goes with me. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I think, like, we had a hard time with that. It was a hard balance, like, learning yeah. that. Because money is always, like, a difficult, a difficult thing in topic. Marriage, yeah. yeah, with marriage and, like... But you should talk about it and you should discuss oh, yeah. it. Because if you don't, then it's going to creep up on you sooner or later. Yeah. Because that's what Satan sees is a weakness in your marriages, which is money. Totally. Um, but yeah, so it's like a work. It's together. Yeah. I don't think we 
we discuss everything. We discuss our bills, Even taxes, taxes, and stuff everything. Like, that. like we do not not hide it from one another. We don't hide it from one another. Yeah. Because like, if we, it stresses yeah. her out, I want her to talk to me about it. And if it stresses me out, I want to talk to her about it. Not be like, okay, this is stressing me, but I'm the I'm the person that's supposed to take care of the money. I need to handle this. Blah blah blah. Yeah, if that was me, I would be so stressed. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure that would be the same. Yeah, with same. You. Money's stressful, but yeah, but yeah. So fifty fifty. That's who's in charge. Um. Are we saving up for anything right now? A lot of things. Yeah. Lot of <laughs> Main things. thing is our own like apartment, apartment or townhome, townhome or whatever yeah. we can afford here. here yeah. Once we you know have that. Yeah. So that's like the main thing that we're saving up for. Next thing right. is like a camera. Yeah, camera for vlogging. Vlogging. I need more clothes. Which <laughs> is <laughs> probably before the camera, but probably a camera first. Um, um, she needs more makeup. That's not something you really save up for, yeah, though. That's true. Like I'm a big, it's like a big thing. Like the, a place, um, a camera. A camera. A trip, traveling. Uh, traveling, like Airbnb, somewhere close, like maybe Colorado. Colorado? Colorado. <laughs> or Nevada, or somewhere. But, but yeah, those are the things. We'll see. Okay, well, that's all of the questions that you guys asked us. I had to write them down because I forgot my, I had to go charge my phone. Yeah, we had to write them down. Yeah. But, but anyway. Those were all great questions. They were really good. Really, like, somewhat deep, but then also really funny. Mm -hmm. um, love that. Yeah, so thanks for sending, sending in questions. Yeah, questions. And we would love to see more. Yeah, comment below if you have deeper any more. Or funnier we'll, we'll do this again yeah for sure yeah if you like this video you know, make sure to give it a, a thumbs up thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe if you want to see more from us on our channel and we'll see you next time bye